number four in Atlanta Dragway. Alongside of Mike Dunn. Well, and Troy Coughlin being pushed away. He's dropping oil down here at the start line. He is going away. Oh, man, that's a tough break. I just saw Troy in the staging lanes. He said that new car was about four weeks away. The car was running so good this week. The small block that you just saw getting pushed away that he says, you know what? We might just leave it in the garage a little bit longer, but now maybe that changes things now. As you can see, Mike Castellano will get a single into the finals. Coming up in just a moment, Ed Hoover and Ricky Smith. You see them wiping up the oil down there off that turbocharged car. That small block though ran that great 596 in the first round. I was looking forward to this matchup, but Mike Castellano, he's going to run it down as quick as it'll go. And oh, he pushed the clutch in just for the finish line and saved the parts. 623 at 187 miles per hour to advance him to the final round. And for Castellano, now you combine the ADRL with his NHRA competition, 14 and one round record. So he's putting up some great numbers, just like Khaled Belushi has done. Well, of course, Khaled's now lost twice in the Catch Green America Pro Mod Drag Racing Series. He was knocked out earlier by Ed Hoover, the man who's coming to the starting line right now. But not till we get the track cleaned up, which gives us some time to meet one of the men and his machines that make this class so unique. This is the 69 Daytona the Green Beast, as we call it. It's a 1969 Dodge Daytona. The chassis is built by Mike Bell in-house. The bodies are built in our own shop at CK Motorsports. It is powered by a 526 Hemi with precision turbos. It's got a three-speed transmission with a triple disc clutch. It is Sublime green as the original 69 Daytona came. It is all carbon fiber, so super lightweight. It's been up to 255 miles an hour in a quarter mile. As you see, it has the original style Daytona wing, which we have in an absolutely neutral position. We found that the body has enough downforce to run speeds over 250 in a quarter mile without the additional need for the wing. So it is adjustable in case we need it, but so far we hadn't had to use that. Another beautiful car in the field, Mike Castellan is a Mike, you just had an easy run to get yourself into the finals. Are you ready? Yeah, I think we're ready for the finals. You know, it was unfortunate that Troy couldn't make the, the call or something happened. I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, my crew's here and they get the car ready and uh, we should be ready for the finals. We're looking forward to it as well. Thanks. Of course, among the most classic of cars, the 69 Camaro in this class, it all comes down to how you paint the thing. And for Mike Castellano, it's Western Beef, Alan Abbey car, of course, Western Beef, a food store. It's his own business. It don't come any prettier than that, do they, Mike? Love that candy apple red.